The groundbreaking MiG-41 aircraft whose development is about to be completed by the MiG Design Bureau is maybe something that you have heard of. Its reported capabilities are exceptional, as is the timeline for its introduction into service. However, what concrete information do we truly have about Russia's upcoming aircraft, and is it possible for it to be developed? A lot of the information about Russia's future aircrafts can be traced back to the Russian media or official representatives and is part of the broader strategy on information warfare. The MiG-41 comes as a replacement to the MiG-31. These were the heavy interceptor fighters which were developed during the Cold War specifically aimed at defending the northern and eastern borders of the USSR. The MiG-41 is the next of kin to the 701 project, and its objective to intercept SR-71 Blackbird claims have it that it is expected to have velocities ranging from Mach 3 to Mach 5 that will be made possible by a yet-to-be-known engine which could possibly be a derivative of what powers the Su-57. The type of weapons it carries is expected to include not just other airplanes, but also hypersonic projectiles, as well as objects in low orbits around Earth. According to reports, this plane will also be able to fly at altitudes as high as 1 lakh 31,234 feet and cover distances of 4,350 miles on a single tank of fuel. Moreover, the MiG-41 aims at being a carrier for hypersonic weapons and a seeker after such. Depending on the sources, it might be equipped with a combat laser or electromagnetic cannon, all under the cover of stealth technology, embodying the characteristics of a sixth-generation fighter. The MiG-41, a project underway at Mikoyan OKB, aims to step into the shoes of the Cold War-era MiG-31 Foxhound supersonic interceptor. Its main goal is to be a top-notch solution for intercepting high-altitude enemy aircraft, particularly focusing on espionage platforms from the United States or neighboring China that encroach upon Russia's vast airspace. The journey to replace the MiG-31 series has seen its fair share of challenges and setbacks, largely due to the upheaval caused by the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1989-1991. Despite these hurdles, there's optimism within the company about achieving a maiden flight by 2025. There's also talk about an unmanned version, potentially derived from the manned aircraft. This project is also known as PAKDP, Prospective Aircraft Long Range Interceptor. Currently, details about the MiG-41 remain somewhat elusive. However, reports suggest that the aircraft is projected to reach speeds ranging from Mach 3 to 4 and attain altitudes nearing near space levels. Furthermore, it's anticipated that the MiG-41 will encompass traits of 5th and 6th generation fighters, including stealth capabilities, and employ direct anti-missile measures such as lasers for defense. Its primary weaponry is likely to feature long-range missiles. According to available reports, the MiG-41 is anticipated to possess a range of advanced capabilities, including supersonic speed, stealth technology, and the capacity to operate in space. It's also expected to be outfitted with advanced sensors and weapon systems, including long-range air-to-air missiles and hypersonic weapons. However, there's significant skepticism surrounding this timeline, especially given the ambitious technological claims and the current state of the aviation industry in Russia. Western sanctions imposed after Russia's invasion of Ukraine have made it challenging for the military industry to procure essential aviation components and microprocessors. Developing an advanced engineering project like a sixth-generation airplane necessitates numerous state-of-the-art technological advancements and custom-built components. The Russian industry currently relies on sourcing many components for its existing models from foreign countries. Additionally, the ongoing conflict in Ukraine demands substantial financial resources, posing a significant burden even for a sizable country like Russia. As a result, many other military projects have been put on hold due to funding shortages, with efforts focused on retrofitting existing older vehicles to reduce manufacturing costs. Therefore, the plans to develop the MiG-41 appear to be overly ambitious. One of the innovative concepts being explored involves harnessing the thermal energy generated during high-speed flight to power onboard electronics or energy weapons. To put this into perspective, consider the extreme temperatures experienced by aircraft like the Blackbird, reaching up to around 896 degrees Fahrenheit due to air resistance at high velocities. If Russia's ambitious plans for the MiG project come to fruition, it could boast capabilities comparable to those of the Death Star from popular culture. However, it's essential to approach such announcements with a degree of skepticism, 
especially given the challenges faced by Russia's aviation sector, including a diminishing skilled workforce and the loss of renowned designers without clear succession plans. Few open sources have shed light on the technical obstacles that must be overcome for the MiG-41 project to succeed. Nonetheless, progress continues the PAKDP project. A potential breakthrough lies in the development of a pulse detonation engine, PDE, which could offer remarkable efficiency, potentially reducing fuel consumption by up to 75%, and operate effectively across a wide speed range, reaching speeds of approximately Mach 5. Despite global efforts and an experimental drone flight powered by a PDE in 2008, albeit lasting only 10 seconds, practical applications of this technology remain elusive. Initially announced in 2013, the prototype of the MiG-41 was slated for its maiden flight by 2020, with serial production anticipated by 2025. However, revised estimates now suggest that operational readiness may not be achieved until 2030. Moscow faces pressing decisions regarding its aerospace capabilities. Without advanced intercept fighters like the MiG-41, Russia risks losing control over critical parts of its airspace within a decade. Production of the MiG-31 ceased three decades ago, and engine manufacturing has also halted, with reserves rapidly diminishing. The MiG-41's significance lies not just in its revolutionary design, but in maintaining Russia's existing defensive capabilities as time runs short. And that wraps up our deep dive into the revolutionary MiG-41. As the next generation interceptor, it promises to set new benchmarks in aerospace technology and defense capabilities. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content on the cutting edge of aviation and military tech. Thanks for watching and see you in the skies.